Happy Friday and welcome back to my Freedom Friday live feed. This is uh, where I talk about everything Office Without Walls, Office Without Walls lifestyle, which just basically means everything related to not being changed to, chained to a desk, being a remote professional. Um, talking about security things right now. I started that last week talking about passwords. As promised, still in that theme, moving on to backups, backing up uh, files. Are you protecting your important files? A little reminder of how we got here. I got hacked over a week ago. Um, files were being deleted from my OneDrive. And I was talking about that last week with regards to passwords and some of the surprises I learned when I was looking at changing my passwords, getting into changing my passwords every 90 days. I won't go back into that, but today we're talking about hard, external hard drive backups and cloud backups or just backing up our data in general. All right, what do we need to be doing? What are best practices? And I talked about being hacked last week, but I didn't talk about it being targeted. There were things being targeted on my OneDrive specific files, which to me means it was somebody who knows me and knew what things are important to me because these files weren't even named specific things that would be obvious. All right, so. That brings me to the fact that we're working in a remote world more now, business owners, whether you're a business owner or not, we're looking at more susceptibility to our files being um, corrupted, either taken, deleted, that kind of thing, um, by, by the fact that we're just working, not just remotely, but also working with teams remotely. So in my instance, it could have been um, somebody I worked with at some point that wasn't happy with me. But you know, the more we're allowing people access to um, you know, our things, the more that that becomes an issue and the more we have to work remotely and with remote teams, the more that is something to think about. So that's part of my story. And what I did was, and I, you know, thankfully was able to restore the files that were deleted. Um, and thankfully what the person who was going after my stuff didn't know is that I was backing it up, backing it up in the cloud. So I'm going to talk some, some, some about that today and also talk about the additional step I took was to get an, another external hard drive. Um, and set up a system with that. So what to back up and why? Well, the, the why is pretty obvious. Um, you're, we're susceptible, our data is susceptible um, to you know, ransomware is you know, the thing that everyone is hearing about more and more, but also just things being lost or corrupted or destroyed. So um, that's, the, that's the in and out, in, in and out of the why. It's not that hard to, to grasp, that's the why. Um, but what to back up? In my opinion, everything. Um, but if you're not going to be doing everything, then um, think about the, the types of files that are irreplaceable, the things that you're going to need to access and the things that you don't want to lose track of. And then if we're looking from a business perspective to my business owners, what industry are you in? Are there any industry standards that you need to keep in mind? For example, for attorneys, the ABA model rules, um, you know, require us to uh, be reasonably informed about the technology and where we're storing it and how it's being stored. Little tip, um, one thing I learned while I was getting ready for this video is that with corporations like Microsoft, with OneDrive storage, you can look up online where their servers are so you can see what country your data is being stored in if that's important for you. Um, so looking, looking at industry standards if you're a business owner, but in my opinion, backing up everything. So um, let's talk about the differences between external hard drive backups and cloud backups. Um, there's pros and cons to both. So just to be clear, cloud backup is gonna be the one that's internet-based or in the cloud, um, not physically with you. Um, external hard drive is that actual physical device that you have with you that you're backing up in a stationary place. And there are pros and cons to both. Um, you know, depending on you know how you work and what what's important to you. You know, that external hard drive is something that you have access to offline. So if you're traveling and you're worried about having internet access, that might be something that um, appeals to you. Um, that, but the, it's the universal access of the cloud backup is also appealing to others. So uh, team members being able to access the same files and back up the same files, that universal access, being able to access and back up documents from multiple devices, which you can't do with the external hard drive very easily. Uh, for example, I use Ignite and shout out to Regina Irene um, and the lawyer on the beach group. I just wanna say that real quick because I uh, gotten informed about Ignite and using Ignite from there. And if you have more questions about 
cloud-based storage, that's one great resource to use. And I'll put the link to the Lawyer on the Beach group in the comments after I finish the video. Um, so, you know, the cloud storage you can access uh, from an app on your phone as well as on your desktop. So you can back up files from different places, not possible with the external hard drive. Um, the safety, obviously the external hard drive can be destroyed, um, fire, water damage, theft, that kind of thing. And obviously the, the online uh, version will gives you better options there. But then take into account the cost. There's a one-time fee for your external hard drive, 70 bucks, 75, I think I paid for this, maybe almost 80 with taxes, which is the equivalent of what I pay for one month of the online backup with Ignite. Um, far worth the cost to me, but just something to keep in mind. Um, start storage units with the external hard drive, you're getting way more storage, more bang for your buck. Um, online backups measure the storage in gigs, whereas with the external hard drive, we're talking about terabytes, which is many, 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 many gigabytes, <laughs> um, to put it easily. Um, and so there's there's pros and cons to both. And so looking at looking at that, but you know the the huge takeaway um, from today is that really you should be using both. But just so I can emphasize, I wasn't using the external hard drive until this happened, right? So I want to talk a little bit about the difference between um, online cloud storage and cloud backup, because they're not the same thing. Cloud storage, OneDrive, Dropbox, um, Google Drive, those things have backup features. But what's different about um, backup cloud backup services that you pay for separately is that they have file versioning that is far more dynamic and security features that are far, far more dynamic than OneDrive, Dropbox, and those things. True, you can set permissions for who can access different documents in the OneDrive and the Dropbox and those things as well. But what I found by using Ignite and a separate backup, an online cloud backup, is that with the uh, file versioning and being able to actually control and see who is in what file and when they touched it, um, I have far more control over the security of my documents than I did with just using the cloud storage by itself. Um, so the first step uh, in backing up your files, if you're not already, I would say is getting a cloud backup and then a hard drive backup, but using both is ideal. Um, so I talked about Ignite um, and the features that come along with Ignite. Not the only option. There are plenty of cloud-based backup uh, options available, and I'm going to drop a link to the uh, 20, 2021 top picks by uh, PC Magazine for that, as well as the 2021 PC Mag um, top picks for external hard drives. I went with the uh, My Passport uh, reasonable price, uh, two terabytes, and it has automatic syncing options. Both of these options, both the cloud storage and cloud backup, excuse me, both the cloud backup and the external hard drive backup are gonna have automatic, automatic syncing options to take some of the thinking out of it. Um, but again, the takeaway from today is use both. Um, so I think that pretty much gets through all of my notes. Um, protecting your important files, the difference between your cloud backup which is not physically here with you, the pros, and, the, the pros to that, the cons to that, and the external hard drive. But at the end of the day, um, my recommendation is using both. If you're not gonna use both, then look at those pros and cons that I was um, going, going over and I'll post a link to an article that goes in a little bit more in depth about that. Um, but again, I recommend using both. This has been an Office Without Walls Freedom Friday live feed. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Friday and a great weekend, and I will see you next week.